This is a quick description of how to use the automation in Pro Tools. So here on our track, this is an acoustic guitar track. It's set to waveform for the view. And that is this view here where we can see the actual waveform of the recording. You just click that and select something else like volume. This black line represents the volume level. And you can see there's various changes that have been made throughout this song to um, account for different uh, levels of the recording. And some uh, specific spots like this one here, where there was a little guitar squeak and we wanted to dip the volume just for a second there so that it wouldn't be so loud. So if you put your tool in this top blue bar here where you can use all three at once, this is the mode where if you're in editing mode, on the bottom you have the hand, the top you have the selector, the edge you have, the, this tool here, this cropping tool, and on the corners you have this fade tool. If you're in that mode, you switch it to volume, you can put your cursor on the lower half of the track, highlight an area, go to the top half of the track, and the, the little bar turns horizontal. It will then raise or lower uh, the whole section. Or if you hold down the command key, you get this little pointer and you can drop little breakpoints in and then you can move them to a specific place like that. And this also works with mute. Mute is just on or off, obviously. There's no in between. It's either muted or not. So if you highlight something like that, you can see it's not muted. Pull it down and it's muted. So if you press play, you'll notice here it's not muted, it gets to this spot, and then it becomes muted. And then as it would get to the end of it, it would unmute. So that can be useful too. And then the other one, the other obvious one is panning. If we hold down command and make a couple little of these points. This is hard left up here, and then this is hard right down there. You can hear it panning back and forth. The last one of this list is um, your send level. This is the level that we're sending to our reverb on this aux track here. That can also be uh, changed with automation. So you could have it send barely any like this. You could raise it and it all the way to the top like that. And too much. And then maybe a more reasonable amount like that. You can also automate every parameter of your plugins uh, with this same sort of technique. But uh, I'll run through that in another video.